Hi guys, I just got back from Aldi. I just want to do a, this will be a part one of my groceries shopping for this week. I didn't get a lot, I spent about 70 bucks. Um, yeah, I will have to do a part two, but I ran out of time. It's actually 20 past seven, we haven't had dinner or anything yet, so. I have cooked it though. I cooked a hot chook, I cooked some potatoes, and yesterday I did a big cauliflower and broccoli cheese. We had, um, Oh, chicken parmesan, that's right. You'll see that in my last vlog. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I bought from Aldi, my favourite shop. As usual, I'm going to do the cold stuff first. So I got some light sh uh, shredded cheese. I really love this cheese and it's pretty cheap. It's only like $3.79 for half a kilo, so it's pretty good. I've got some milk. They didn't have any three litre ones, so I just grabbed the two litre. They'll do because I'll be back there in five minutes anyway. I grabbed some eggs. And I've got two packets of the frozen veggies. Um, I mainly buy these for Lucy. I mix these in with pasta and I also buy her the beef and kangaroo from Aldi. This is like 379 for 600 grams. And I've got the chicken one as well for her. Um, yeah, so I mix them with pasta. I was doing rice, but I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just gonna do that. Um, I said and she loves it. She's out there in the dinner now. I've uh, got a thing of butter, a cup of butter. I've got some hash browns. I don't know when or what I want to do with those yet. Um, but yeah, that's all my cold stuff. So I didn't even buy my gruel. Uh, I've got some popcorn for a snack for the kids for school. And they had some really cool um, cleaning, uh, not cleaning, like a uh, glad special things. So this was a value pack of bin bags and this was like $6.99 for like 100 bin bags. That's insane. So I had to get me one of those because if James saw those when we were down there he'd be like, oh my god, you got to buy one. And they also had snack bags as well. So there's 350 bags in here and these were also $6.99 which is awesome. So normally for the little box. And then I'll get $2.60 I want to say, round about. I don't know how many's in the little, box, little ones. Not really sure, but yeah. Could not leave that there either. I'll grab me one of them. Uh, I've got some noodles for the kids, just some beef ones and some chicken ones. And these are so cheap, these are like 95 cents for a pack of five. The kids love these after school. Picked up some more canola oil spray, I'm nearly out of that. Uh, some skim milk. And I bought a few more of these organic kombucha, raspberry and lemon. These are beautiful and they're only like $2 for one. So I grabbed myself three of those. And picked up some bread. I love this bread. It's like, what's that, $2.29 a loaf or something like that. That's pretty good. And they didn't have any other bread for the kids that they'd like, so I just got this grain wise bread as well. Mine I actually keep in the freezer and just take a couple of bits out as I need it. Um, I grabbed some of these rice cracker snacks. I love these. I actually took a photo of this to send to the Canteen Association and took a photo of the label thing on the back because it would be nice just to have some other little healthy snacks that are sort of in packs for the kids at the canteen. So we'll see how that what that comes back as. And I've got some trust tomatoes. I absolutely love the smell of these. They just smell so beautiful. I got some of those. I used my last tomato today. And some, um, I had some cruskets for afternoon tea with some boiled egg and just some tomato and salt and pepper, and it was so yummy. Big bag of pink lady apples. I only bought these, um, I only bought some apples the other day and they're all gone already, so, which is a good thing. This is gummy. And I also grabbed some asparagus too because they're only 99 cents a bunch in there. So that was pretty cool. And I grabbed some. Uh, toilet cleaner. I think I might have bought some of this the other day. Um, I've been home a lot, home long enough to really even, yeah, check what I had. And I also got a, what have we got? 12 rolls of toilet paper. I don't even know how much they were, but the other ones I bought were really, James said, they're really super dead by them again, so, um, yeah, we'll give those ones a go and so, see if they're a bit better. So, yeah, that's my little Audi haul for, for now and I will show you part two. Good morning guys. I have just done my part two of my shopping and I'm not even finished. I need to go to Spudgehead still. Audi, their 
fruit and veggies weren't actually that cheap today. I've got, I've got a few things, but um, definitely need to go to the spud shed. But I don't like going on the weekend. There's so many people. If I do, I tend to go at some crazy time of the day. But I'll show you what I got today. I could not believe like how many people were waiting to get in there when we got there. It was insane. I got some of these no added um, sugar yogurts. I've showed you these before, they're really good. Um, I mainly give these to hubby for work. Got some dog food, police, beef and kangaroo. And I grabbed these lamb cutlets, they were marked down. I grabbed three packs of them, they were like 50% off, so that was a bargain. Grabbed a carton of eggs. I've already got two in the fridge, but yeah, I can never have enough eggs in my house. Uh, we got some bacon. I'm doing um, pizzas tonight. I brought my bread maker home. I'm um, yeah, I've got Corey coming over tonight, so I thought I'd do some pizzas. Grabbed a couple of chalks. Their chickens are so cheap, three seventy nine a kilo. So. This one was 6.81 and that one was 6.75. So I roast those up. Got some light grated cheese again. I absolutely love this stuff. And I also got these honey soy marinated wings. Um, yeah, they were 30% off. So I thought, yeah, I'll probably cook those up for tonight as well before we have dinner. Pantry wise, I got a banana bread. I'm gonna cook this slice it up and freeze it individually for lunches for during the week. Scarlet picked out a cake mix. I told her she could make a cake today, so she's got the golden butter cake mix. These are perfect too um, for actually putting your old bananas in and making your own banana bread. So that's pretty cool. Um, some spiral noodles, there's only 65 cents a packet. I got these, this is mainly for Lucy's dinner. I mix the veggies in with that and mix like so I'll do one of these in with half a packet of pasta and half a packet of frozen veggies. Plain flour, that's what I make my pizza dough with. Got some whole grain mustard, some tomato paste for the pizzas, some pineapple, even their pineapple. 99 cents for a tin, it's so cheap. So I grabbed a few of them. Uh, raisin toast, normally just, um, this is for hubby, like I'll make that for brekkie for him during the week. Um, Joe really likes it as well. And I grabbed some moo milks for the kids, just chocolate and a strawberry one. Got some of these Logics um, rinse aid for the dishwasher. Scored these milks, they're still good till 24th. What's today? 21st, so yeah, still good. 58 cents. Skim milk one for me and just a reduced fat one. And Missy Moo picked out their sunflower seeds. I thought I was going to give her some money for helping me out this week. Um, so yeah, she picked those and she also wanted some popcorn for tonight as well. Corey's bringing his um, game thing over tonight. It's like um, we could play Mario and stuff, so game night. Uh, asparagus, that was cheap, 99 cents. Some bananas, I think they were like about 350 kilo. So they've gone up a little bit in price. I grabbed one capsicum. Mushrooms, they were pretty good. They were only like $2.50, it's got a hole in the top. Um, yeah, two dollars fifty, so that wasn't bad. And I grabbed a big bag of apples as well. Um, so all that came to I think it was actually about one hundred and fifteen bucks, um, which isn't bad with all the meat that I got in there. So once I have been to the spud shed, um, I'll show you part three. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot of food shopping so much for the house. I've been sort of just mainly shopping for the canteen but I thought no I need to plan some more meals this week um, I did plan a few during the week just gone um, yeah it's just so much better especially when I'm working just yeah knowing what you're coming home to cook you know so that's my part two hi guys I just got back from the spud shed James came with me we went down at six o'clock and well, I've just got home, packed it, well, not packed it away, unpacked it rather, um, on the table and yeah, um, I'll show you what we got. Okay, cold stuff as usual. I got four of these turkey mints. These are so cheap, they're like $2.50 for one. So I got, yeah, like I said, I got four. I'm going to make some turkey meatballs out of those for healthy snacks. 
skirt, a big beef brisket. Um, I'm actually making a pho, which is probably what you know as pho, we normally call it pho. Um, we needed that to put in there. Also got these beef bones, they're the same for the same thing. And we got these um, marrow bones as well. So that's all that makes the base for the pho or pho. <laughs> um, I got some of these dino nuggets. Um, Hudson would like those. And I think James likes them. Just with corn and carrots, so that's weird. Uh, picked up some pies, they're only $2.99. I said, James, it's good just to have them in the freezer just for lazy night's dinner. And I grabbed some chicken burgers, these are really good. Um, I actually buy these for the canteen. They're only 10 bucks for the pack and they are very tasty. And I got yogurts, James and Hutto, as you know from previous uh, vlogs of mine, just like vanilla. So I grabbed two six packs of those and two of the berry plant ones for the other kids. And I grabbed myself some of the zero no um, added sugar ones. And there's like two peach and mango, two French vanilla and two strawberry in there. So that's cool. Um, and other stuff that's cold is just my three liters of milk. Oh, and the bean shoots as well, they're cold. So they've got to go in the fridge as well. Okay, moving on to my pantry items. I grabbed four Posadas. These are only 99 cents in there, so they're pretty cheap. They're actually cheaper than Aldi. Um, but a lot of the stuff, Aldi was actually cheaper. I'm getting to know my prices in there, so. Um, this fish sauce, this is for my pho as well. This was only like $1.79, so that's pretty good. And these soy sauce, um, 99 cents. They were 12 for $10 or 99 cents. I said, Jones, we've got bloody 12 of them last forever. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I've got soy sauce ready, but I said, Jones, for that price, yeah, pretty good buy. James got some chili noodles with nuts in them. I got some of those package crackers. These were only 99 cents. So they're, they're a good buy. I Ziploc bag these up for the kids for school. So we've got cheddar cheese and the taggy barbecue. Um, Scooby Doo, um, little biscuits, chocolate flavored biscuits. Oh, I don't know what that would be like. It's a bit weird because when you see Scooby Doo things, I just think Scooby Snacks, and I was like, is it dog food or is it human food? <laughs> Wasn't sure. I think they come with little cards. Yes, yeah, free spot cards, one per box as well. And I got some. Um, Spices and that, and it's weird as well because all these are two ninety nine for one. Um, picked up some. Hang on a minute. Also picked up some um, herbs and stuff as well. I got some garam masala. I actually haven't had any of this for ages, but all the spud sheds, um, spices and that doesn't matter what it is in these containers. They're all two ninety nine across the board. So some of it's not a bad buy. Some of it. Yeah, if you know your prices and that, you know. But they're pretty good. Yeah, so like I said, garam masala. I've got some cardamom pods. Um, some star anise. I've got some of these, but I need a few more. That is for my foot as well. Cinnamon quills for the same thing. And the coriander seeds. So that is the beautiful flavour that you get in your Vietnamese pho. And I've got some uh, garlic powder as well. Got two boxes of tissues. I picked up a few of these um, trays for Christmas time. I've already started buying some other little trays and that as well. And I've also started buying some cool drinks, um, like the Kirks and stuff. You get them for four bucks. I started buying a few of those for Christmas as well, putting them away. Bread, I got two loaves of white and I got four loaves of multigrain. And I also grabbed a pack of hamburger buns. Um, yeah, for the, obviously chicken burgers, but like I said, these are great, especially having teenagers. Yeah, they can have those to eat and sort of fills them up a bit more. Uh, veggie wise, I got one of those little soft uh, lettuces. I've got lettuces growing in my garden, but they're not quite ready. And I don't pick the whole lot of the lettuce. It's good because you can just go out and trim a few leaves off once they get a bit bigger. But yeah, I thought that'd be lovely for some salad. Um, I got three zucchinis. These were three for two bucks, 
and I'm going to do a butter chicken with those that I actually do in the canteen and it's probably one of my most popular meals that I do in there at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some, I've still got to go to Woolworths believe it or not, um, I've got to get some butter chicken paste for that. And I've got some pad thai rice noodles, I've got three packets of those, so that is for the fat as well. And um, got a couple of red capsicums, got a couple of squash. Look how nice these are. I need to buy a couple of these because I'm the man who really eats them. Um, so yeah, a couple of those. Got a nice big bag of green beans, they look really good. I'm actually going to do um, a bean salad for meal prep for the week with those. Uh, a couple of cucumbers for salads. I bought a pumpkin and I'm not sure if I had one of those already or not. Okay, I just checked and I actually used it. I did buy one because when I was grabbing this one out, I just was thinking, I'm pretty sure I just bought one, but I made um, pumpkin soup with it. So, um, yeah, and this was, I think, 99 cents a kilo, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, white onions there for the fur as well, and same with the ginger. I've got some ginger in the jar, but um, yeah, it's said to actually like get a good sized piece and chop it in half for it. So doing that instead. And uh, spring onions, I love spring onions. Um, they'll go in some of my salad that anyway. But that is also for the fur that I'm making. And I've got a bag of brown onions. I think they're only 99 cents for the two kilo bag. So that's pretty good. Okay guys, I finally finished my shopping. We went to Woolies and I spent an absolute crap load on um, <laughs> shopping this week. Funny I said crap load when I've got me Kleenex toilet paper there, but um, yeah, I haven't been spending a lot on shopping, so I did a real big shop this week. Like I said, I'm trying to do a meal plan. I was gonna, hoping to show you that, but I have just had no time. Um, got 16 rolls of toilet roll for six dollars got a four pack i took one out and doing dinner at the moment uh paper towel grab some chewies some mayo they're gonna be that's gonna be for the chicken burgers i'm making i got some butter chicken paste like i said earlier i want to make the one i do in the canteen it's absolutely beautiful and this was on sale for four saved dollar fifty so and i actually grabbed one for the canteen as well Got some gel for hubby and the boys, and actually I use it as well now, especially when I'm working, just to make sure I don't get any hair in the food. And I went to uh, Red Dot, um, looking for pop sticks, but yeah, God, trying to get those things is a bloody nightmare. But I picked up these uh, stainless steel drinking straws. There's three in the pack with a little uh, pipe cleaner kind of thing in there. Two dollars, so that was a bargain. And we went to Harvey Norman to pick up some stuff for the canteen with the grant that I got. Uh, I'll do a whole separate vlog um, and show you what I got for that when when I've got everything. Anyway, you know, all together once I've um, yeah received my delivery this week that I'm waiting for. But we picked up these. Um, oh, they just take the moisture out of stuff. Um, and they're normally thirteen dollars, and they were down to a dollar. So James, this is the last two in the box. So James said, "We need them," so we got those. And I also went to um, another shop, and I picked up a couple of pairs of sunglasses for myself. I had two good pairs, um, and I broke a pair. And the other ones are they're okay. Well, I can obviously wear them at the moment because they're all I have, but they're a bit big, so. Yeah, got some new sunny, so that's cool. And I also went to Priceline. I really needed some uh, micellar water just to take my makeup and stuff off. So I picked up this Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Micellar Water. And I also got this Neutrogena Deep Clean. This is Micellar Gel to Foam Dry Skin, two in one makeup remover and deep cleanser. They were on special. Um, I think they're about half price actually for those and I also grabbed this glow lab body lotion this is absolutely beautiful it smells so like oh just beautiful um, my hands are so dry from running at the candy like across the end of my fingers and that are really really dry and peeling and stuff um, yet yeah, even like you know so I've got a lot of crack in the end of my thumb there 
I did start looking after my skin and I also picked up these um, two shampoo and conditioner uh, violet toning shampoo so they just take the yellow tones out of your blonde hair and stuff and I've yeah I've never really bought them but the hairdresser did recommend that when I um, got my hair done in September before we went away so I'm gonna give those a go and they were half price as well um, yeah I'm not even sure um, how much they were either but yeah so I can't wait to give those a go and see how so and that's going to conclude my food haul finally. Just cooking up a big feed. I am making the lamb cutlets that I got from Aldi. I'm putting some pie seasoning on them, a bit of garlic powder, some pepper. And in the oven I've got some dinosaurs that I showed you that I bought for the kids. And I've got some hash browns, two toes of hash browns. And I made up this huge bowl of salad. And we're going to have some beetroot with that on the side. And I'm just going to make a dressing. And I'm going to add some black olives onto mine. And I'm also going to add some hemp seeds. I'm loving these. And these are so cheap from Aldi. If you've tried these, I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if I like these. They're a bit strange when you first try them. But I love them on my salad. So, um,. Yeah, we'll sprinkle some of those on there, get some extra goodness in as well. Yeah, if you're not shopping at Aldi, seriously, give another go. Because when I first went there, it is weird because it's all different brands and stuff, you know. But, um, yeah, amazing how much money it saves us. It's just incredible. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to go dish up dinner. I hope you enjoyed my food vlog, um, grocery haul, whatever you want to call it. I'll catch you in my next video. I've got a few few videos up my sleeve. It's just, yeah, making time to vlog. It's just, my life is crazy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not ready. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.